All right, everyone. To really end off this first episode of the second season, we're so happy to have one more special guest. He's a recently single literary agent from the Big Apple, and he's looking for love. It's Peter Lowe! Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing tonight? We're doing great, Peter. How are you? I'm doing fantastic, darling. Thank you. Oh, wow. It's been 30 years since fucking Vampire's Kiss came out. You were, you were fantastic, and we love you. Well, you know, I just wanted to say it's been 30 years to the day since I became a vampire. It's been, um, it's been quite a life journey. I will tell you that, Alan. That's beautiful. I'm, I'm happy to have you here in studio. How, how has um, the last 30 years aged you? It doesn't age me. I'm still the same, same babe I was. <laughs> Has your uh, has your cuisine evolved anymore? I mean, you you, you were into uh, cockroaches and pigeons and things of that nature, but I mean, uh, have you, have your tastes evolved? Uh, no, no, Dan. I actually, I just I prefer to hunt my own um, animals and um, bugs or any other living life form as my sustenance. Anything that kind of crosses your path, huh? Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> so I imagine I'm living in the Big Apple, it's a lot of squirrels and... Uh, the occasional, maybe some raccoons, some rats. rats. Uh, just under pigeons, I guess. <laughs> just Even. really pigeons you've been going after. What about women? I, I, the disco death, is it still... You like going to dance clubs still and fucking around? We don't! Or... <laughs> we don't! Talk about women me ever oh anymore oh, well i thought you were kind of a uh, i've i've heard you've been shoo <laughs> are you shooing me shoo i don't want any part of that question anymore please okay i didn't i meant no disrespect. i mean va vampires are sort of known to be uh, you know rather sexual beings I, I i would think you would do rather well but she left me oh she left you the, was this was this a new a new girl in Rachel? Rachel, oh, we're still Rachel? On. was she Ratchet? R Ratch Rachel? <laughs> Rachel left Rachel. me. Rachel, she was part of me. So, do you think Jennifer Beals? She didn't know what she was doing. Damn it! <laughs> so, do you think Jennifer Beals really portrays Rachel? Shut up, cunt! <laughs> oh God. Okay, um, well, we're we're she not in nice England. She seemed. <laughs> I don't think you should stick. Are you guys friends in Stop real poking. life? Stop poking the bear. Stop I'm, sorry. I'm okay. I just had a little moment there. It's okay. I really just want to know how um, your therapist is doing, and um, ha do you, you maintain a relationship? <laughs> is, like, have you maintained your relationship with her? Is that a real person? No. Do you have a cool boy's number? <laughs> no, uh, I actually didn't know about the pool boy until um, after um, I went to her office one day and he was just walking around in his, his little outfit. Holy shit. Skibbies. <laughs> and, um, you know, I thought that was really unprofessional. I, I thought she was unprofessional pretty much the whole time I was seeing her. So that, that was just the excuse that I had to get to get rid of her. So do you think this adaptation of your life is accurate? In any way, I would say it's about 70 30. 70 30, it's pretty accurate. Well, what's the 70? <laughs> <laughs> what's the 30? Um, what is accurate is the maybe the uh, the parts that depict you in the in the darker light. Uh, do you have anything to say about those? Are those uh, the 30 or the 70? <laughs> I would say, definitely say those are the 70. Oh, um, okay. So we you... were, it, it was, 1989 was a very rough year for me. And, um, so, so this movie takes place and was made the same year that this all happened for pretty you. Pretty much documentary style. <laughs> yes, yes, yes it was. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> well, what do you think What's about this? Nick? Nicholas Cage's performance in this? Does it capture your essence? I thought his portrayal could not have been done better by any living person. It was 100% true to Peter. Well, do you think there's a, a non-living person that could have done it more justice? I don't know. Nosferatu? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Very good. Yeah. <laughs> he is good undead. Answer. Was he ever really living? <laughs> Yeah, it's, he, he was in there. Is that an actor? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Nosferatu, the idea, it just never goes away. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying the idea of Nos, <laughs> The idea of Nosferatu, who's somebody who embodied that persona as their life, could have played me. Mm. So you're saying Nicolas Cage really em- embodied... Nosferatu, who who is your hero? Indeed, indeed. Okay, okay. Hmm. Um, well, that'd be interesting to see. Almost, have you ever thought of acting? Maybe you could pick up a role as Nosferatu, and then we could get a whole little full circle circle <laughs> thing well, going on. Well, I, I do want to say, like, <laughs> did, did you like Willem Dafoe's portrayal of of Nosferatu in um in, in that John Malkovich in that movie. movie that exists? Yeah, in that one movie. <laughs> I thought it was a fucking grease hose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, good to know. I guess uh, Willem Dafoe is uh, not the best Nosferatu that's not ever existed. All. Not at all, no. The Shadow of the Vampire? <laughs> yeah, it was Shadow of the Vampire. I mean, what about like Klaus Kinski? Do you, like, do you know him? I mean, I know that he's uh, kind of vampiric these days. Um, do you know any other vampire types? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, have you met Klaus Kinski? Did you did you ever meet him? Wasn't Tom Cruise a vampire? Uh, he interviewed. He Cruise continues to be a vampire. Red pencil. <laughs> he uh, yeah. We try not to talk about it though because we're scared. He's he's kind of like the scariest of the vampires in real life, in in our life, in, in, in the in life that you live. Real life. You, uh, he's yeah. scary as fuck. <laughs> yeah. You mean to tell me that I'm not the scariest vampire? Well, you don't have an entire cult. Do you think I'm a kid? <laughs> we don't have think you you're a kid. A goofy no. I mean, movie. you're only thirty years older than you were. Like you're still like the, the people who played you. Point. Are... That was another point that I wanted hey, you're like to go 55. back. Like <laughs> fifty-five. That's in vampire years too, though. <laughs> that is another point that I wanted to go back when you guys were asking me about becoming an actor. I wanted. Why to do ba- you point at your teeth when you say point? Oh, I get it. Never mind. Go, go move on. Because I'm a vampire. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. yeah did it's they, a long story. Did they grow in eventually, or do you still have that that plastic? Those no, plastic I, teeth? I eventually did uh, upgrade to the uh, twenty dollar pair, and um, once I I got those teeth, I had them surgically implanted into my mouth. Look, so good. they never grew in. No. <laughs> yeah, they never grew in. No, so you're fucking psychotic. <laughs> I'm a I mean, fucking crazy person. I, I I will say it is amazing. You do still look like 25 years old. It's just part of the agelessness of being a vampire. Mm-hmm. Hollywood. How do, Hollywood will do that. You did you. quotes when you said vampire. <laughs> yeah, you do know you did air quotes, right? Nobody Was that on purpose? Knows that I did that. So you had to spoil it. No further questions. Oh, I have many questions. <laughs> I have many questions. Well, see, I just woke up not too long ago, so we're in my prime, my prime time. Oh right yeah, now. you just probably woke up uh, twenty minutes ago. It's uh, it's uh, it's about eleven eighteen right now. I woke up at exactly. 11. I'd say uh, I'd I say mean, twelve eighteen by my time, but yeah. So I mean, the sun oh, went down at five. That brings up an <laughs> that brings up an instrument. You don't wake up when the sun goes down. No, you like, sleep I, in as long. Yes, because you know, as a vampire. Um, it just depends on how much I feed, how much I need to sleep. I feel like you're a slacker well, vampire. Well, like, you skateboard? Well, are, are you a skateboard? Well, are you a skateboard no, I don't vampire? fucking skateboard. <laughs> do, you, do you stay up after the, the sun rises? Like, do you just, like, draw the blinds and watch I Netflix just, like just, the rest of us? You know, I just, I'll have conversations with my cohorts and I'll just casually draw the blinds. Your, your cohorts? Do vampires have daytime because, yeah, rooftop still... parties, like, as if they were, you know, staying up out all night like humans do, you know? Party in the night away, but they're they're party in the day away. No, because it's kind of just me doing that by myself. Give us give us your typical night, okay? Night out on the town. Do a you, typical do you night. Go out. Do you invite people back? What happens? A typical night in low, okay? I wake up. Timestamp. Timestamp. Eleven p.m. I wake up. So you've lost about six hours of the night. So, nighttime. yeah, I'm saying you're no, sleeping in no, pretty late. No, no, because about I live six, six hours. hours. I live in fucking New York fucking city, and that city never sleeps. 
<laughs> okay, but it's all we're saying is you have like seven hours of of like you work time to, before you, you need, need to, to go back to bed. No, Sleep I don't need to rethink shit because the way I operate, must not be I can get my much. I can get my shit done real quick. Which, <laughs> you, so you murder a woman every night, drink her blood. And well, under, let, let him let him say. Yeah, under seven hours. hours. He wakes, up, he I wakes mean, up at eleven. What I, goes on? I, okay, timestamp. Thirty minutes later, I'm dressed. <laughs> I'm wearing my best fucking suit. I gotta still make 30. sure I'm a vampire, so I tap the mirror. Yes, it's things. <laughs> so it's midnight. <laughs> it's. <laughs> Stings every time, but yet you keep on doing it. Yes, because I have to make sure that I still have my vampiric powers. True. So, I hail a taxi, go to the hottest club in town, beat up any fucking bouncer that gets in my way. Timestamp? Timestamp. It's probably only 12.15. <laughs> I'm already it takes in the you club. an hour to get ready. Wow. No, it takes me only 30 minutes. You I gotta touch the mirror. 11.30. 11, <laughs> 11.30, I'm ready. I'm touching the mirror. It stings. How long vampire. are you burning <laughs> yourself on the mirror? Just for a split second. Just got to make sure I'm a vampire. Okay, okay. So then, you know, 45 minutes with all the fucking traffic in town, these fucking cons. Um, so by 12.15, I'm in the club. I've already punched the, bout- the, the bouncer. Um, I've already found my prey. You know, it usually doesn't take me very long. Is that how, is that how you, you get into every, every club? You kind of scan all the necks? Is I, that what yeah, you do? You yeah, scan yeah, all you the necks just, in town? I've, I just open my eyes up really wide, and I'm, I'm scanning the crowd, and nobody's getting freaked out at all. I mean, I I don't stand out at all, and um, I just look for whoever's you know, pray at the bar, and I just walk up to her and I show her my fangs and I'm like, I bite, I bite three times. How is that received? Most of the time, it's not very good. <laughs> it's not very good. Some early nights, maybe there's, there, going there's home. Some, I mean, it varies, but you know. Are you? Do you keep on trying, or is, are you? Are you? Do you ever? Is there other nights? No, you I, just quit? I definitely keep on trying. I, you know, I'll just force my hand in there, and if she slaps me, I'll just fucking go for it, you know. Because you no, know, it's like why do we? Why do we fall down? To pick ourselves back up again. Exactly, and when That's I fair. fall down, I just levitate myself back up because I'm a vampire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so That's, you know, I want that. <laughs> so you know, I. I I feed while I'm at the club. Nobody notices, obviously, because I'm a fucking vampire. You've been doing this for just 30 years? It looks like years. you're sucking neck. You know, yeah, you're I've sucking been doing neck. Yeah, this for 30 years. You know, and you're y'all, sucking neck. Everybody's you guys, sucking neck. Yeah. You guys read in the newspaper, uh, Disco Death. I mean, it. nothing ever went from there. I mean, it has been happening every night for the last 30 years Ex- at the same nightclub, and they still haven't caught the guys. No. So you're telling us that that's, that's you. you. You're responsible for the deaths of almost 20,000 people. Yes, that is correct, Jason. I I mean that's that's mind blowing to me. I mean that's it's good like numbers, it's like Peter. This, yeah. That's good Thank numbers. You. you know what? I'm gonna give that's my success. Hand. Yeah. I don't know how you deal with all those bodies. I don't know why you're not uh, more active during the, the the hours of night. I I mean you're the most kills. You're the most successful killer in seems American like you should history. Be a lot fatter too. But it's because I'm a vampire chase. That that is why I can I don't just, know all the rules. I can just just like that. They're dead. Boom. Whoa. I've already fed. And then I could just, you know, depending on the time frame of the night, I can go to another club, punch another bouncer, stalk for a minute, feed again. It it the process is just really doesn't take that long. So when Rachel called you pathetic, are you like does that still sting? Or, or, or do you feel like you, you, you've earned your your keep in this vampiric world, Peter? It's always gonna fucking sting. Like the mirror, like, like the, the mirror stings every time. Every time they come out, it's just like the fucking mirror. I need her back sooner. What was Rachel. that? What was that, Peter? Rachel, come back to me, damn it, <laughs> sooner. Um, Peter, this is this is live. I think you should pull yourself together. Uh, we're, we're sorry about delving into this. Yeah, I didn't but mean it's to. Been 30 fucking don't years. touch me, you fuck. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I she's assume, a goddamn vampire. I assume she's immortal. She's Look got at a, her teeth. 
I, she's <laughs> not here. We sorry. We didn't we didn't set up the Maury thing where she's off stage and we're gonna bring her in. Did, that would have been great though. Next time, maybe. yeah, no, we'll try and get yeah. her in the studio next time. Maybe have like a like a reunion, you know, episode. Would you like? Would you like that? We're getting off stage. I used to think that might help me. I think we get. I think help I, me. <laughs> Okay, okay, calm down. I think we're going to, we'll be able to help you. I think that our people will be able to contact her people. She's still around. We we can probably get her in the loop on the next, you know, season. I think that'd be good. I think that, I think that would be real good. I, I do have one question. Is Jennifer Beals physically like Rachel? Is that an accurate portrayal? These, this actress, real life stuff, we really don't know how it works. <laughs> well, no, yeah. None were you on set? None like, of those were actors. Oh, that was, I was actually oh, Rachel. Was yes. It, Rachel was a real person. So well, they, except for Nicolas Cage. Like, so Nicolas Cage played yeah. you, and then we had all of the, you had Rachel come in and or Jackie you come in. That was you transforming into Nicolas Cage to play you? Yes, because see, one, as, one of, as one of my vampiric powers, yeah. I, I am a shapeshifter. So oh. it, it was essentially... So, it so was, that wasn't even the real Nicolas Cage in that movie. That no, was you no, no, no. as Nicolas Cage playing you. Yes. So what's your relationship oh, with Nicolas wow. Cage? You guys friends? Yeah. Or you have a grudge held over his head? Or you know, <laughs> vice versa? I don't know what's happening I there. think Nick is a great guy. Really I'd is. assume he'd be pretty pissed at you because that's sort of like a face-off thing <laughs> you did with him. Before no, he no, never did no, face off. No, 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 no. See, here's the deal. After the film came out, I went to Nicolas Cage's place of address and I made a threat because I'm a fucking vampire. Okay? <laughs> okay. He I thought you're a goddamn vampire. I'm a fucking goddamn <laughs> vampire and he knows just exactly what I can do. But that doesn't seem like that would harbor friendship. That would like that would bolster a friendship. A threat doesn't. That's not the. That's well, not he he likes Nicolas Cage. We don't know how Nicolas Cage. Yeah, <laughs> Nicol- I don't give a fuck what Nicolas Cage thinks about me, but I think he's a swell guy. <laughs> All right, you got some demons. <laughs> There's definitely he a is demon a demon. I know, Peter. You're a demon. I am a demon. I mean, I mean, Dracula definitely draws his source from the from demons and from you know the the damned. Yeah, as um, we found out from um, huh. terrible movies. Yeah, that we, but like that we've watched. Yeah, the, <laughs> and, and, and the lore. Queen of the damned. And, so I, I do want to know <laughs> what it feels like to know that y- you will burn in the lake of fire. You. This it doesn't end well, even though you're going to survive, I don't know, another I feel like 10 years or so. It exists for vampires more I mean, than it does for regular people. I mean, here, here's the deal, guys. So, obviously, the stake that was used in the movie to kill me was not a real stake. I didn't really get stabbed. That was special effects. That was, that was added magical vampire powers. So, Alva's brother never actually tried to kill you. If anything, I killed... Alpha's brother. You did you? <laughs> did you actually? Okay. <laughs> because <If anything. laughs> I got tired of hearing his broken English. Okay. I mean, the amount of times that guy couldn't add an extra letter, or you know, just uh, uh, just contraction. Finish, he just couldn't fucking finish a word. <laughs> he just couldn't fucking finish a word. And it just really pissed me off. I mean, you were right, a literary listen, agent. The, I, the, I can see that. As the designated exactly. SJW of this group, I'm going to have to get out a squirt bottle of holy water. If you don't be careful here, Peter. I love that you're the designated uh, social do justice do warrior. Don't do you. This to me. <laughs> don't do this to me, Dad. What does that mean, Alan? What do you mean, you? I don't know. People? Listen, listen Wait, to what? our season one clips and cuts show, and you'll know. I mean, you are a Satanist, uh, Dan. <laughs> I feel like I you hate you all people equally. <laughs> true, 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 true. Even your son. So wait a minute. Are you telling me <laughs> that since Dan is a Satanist, he's the one that summoned me here in the fucking first place? Well, we got him to summon you, yeah. He Oh, yeah. Sup Pete. <laughs> I had to leave my fucking comfortable ass apartment all the way in New York City to get summoned 
by three assholes talking about a fucking movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you had a long night. The ball dropped. You had to go to the whole thing with Steve Harvey and the little mini Steve Harvey. I was trying to suck doing the Steve ball Harvey's dropping thing. blood. <coughs> Steve Harvey's butt? You suck Steve Harvey's butt? Does that taste go good? Go to blood. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to suck his blood. I heard that bitch say but. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can uh, you can like phase through the computer and get at him right now if you want, right? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I sh- no, 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 no! I'm gonna show up. It's, it's it's called the inner web for a reason. You get stuck in that shit. You a vampire? If you killed Alva's brother, how was Alva? I left Alva alive intentionally because what nobody realizes is that she was the one I was truly lusting after. I think we all realized that. I wanted that. her. No, 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 no. I wanted her to be my true love. I wanted her to be the right woman. Do you think killing her brother helps? Did you? Did raping her <laughs> help? Well, I mean... I definitely feel like the rape gave her a little feeling. It was the 80s. <laughs> it was it the 80s. It probably gave her a lot of feelings. Um, not all and you know, positive. You know, before... 70-30. Well, you know, before, before, I dropped, before I dropped my therapist, you know, uh, she, she told me that the rape was just a little stress relief. Just a little stress relief. So that's just a little that's id release, it. right? It's just a little id. Just a little... Different climate. Id. Okay. Well, and, you know, I don't know if that that really fits these days, man. Uh, Peter, I th- I think that um, you know, between if this is any other podcast, we'd have a big problem. <laughs> between Bill Cosby and and Louis C.K. and and Louis C.K.'s most most recent comments, um, I think you might be uh you might be on your way out. You're kind. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I'm just a product of my time. What can I say? Uh, Alva? Your heroes, Mr. Bill Cosby. and <laughs> Alva was the lowest in the totem pole. And I just happened to want her. I wanted her all to myself. And nobody could tell me otherwise. I was going to have Alva. All of Alva. And if I wasn't going to have Alva, nobody would. I think that's a really problematic uh, point of view, and um, I, I think <laughs> that uh, I think that uh, if we killed you with a stake right now, uh, we would be justified. We're not going to. You we don't want have you back. Guts, yeah, bitch. we're not going to. We're not going to. But uh, it sounds Did like you're an you? evil bastard. Oh, I'm definitely a bastard. I'll do anything I want. I'll do it. What do you mean? What do you want to do? <laughs> I'll face this fucking computer through the webs and suck his. Blood. Dick? Oh, no, shit. Oh. <laughs> okay, I thought that was about to go Wait, what'd you, wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Blood. Oh, shit. Mm. Through my dick. Through have his dick. you killed dick. many men? I have been with many men and women. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't, I didn't glean well, that from your I think the uh, best way to end this podcast would um, be, are you, are you attracted to any of us? All right, I know you're looking for love, and I, I mean, I kind of fancy... Being a vampire, I'm not gonna fuck. No, I'm no, I'm not gonna fuck you for the rest of your fuck eternity. Mary kill. Looks like he likes Peter. Chase. Peter, <laughs> this Peter. is not a Lestat. Fuck Mary kill. Fuck Mary kill us. Wh- who do you choose? <sighs> Have you ever played this game? Uh, I've, d- I've played this game many times on the bus did you, to school. Did, did you play this with friends? <laughs> did you actually enact this? I, I enacted it multiple times, actually. Oh, 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 oh you've been true. married and before. I, you know, I, I do just want to say that um, I have actually had a hand in um, inspiring a lot of demented people that have existed throughout our times. You're Since oddly last, proud of that. The last 30 years. Yes. <laughs> You're um, oddly proud of that. Ever hear of a guy... Richard Ramirez? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, he got arrested in the 70s <laughs> after murdering a lot of people in Los Angeles. I did hear of him. <laughs> well, before the story of Peter Lowe, when I was just 
a no-name vampire. I kind of was summoned by Richard. In his jail cell? Before he was his executed? Jail cell. <laughs> no, jail cell? no, no. Before his, before his actual spree of killings. See, I, I'm immortal. So, I mean, before I took on the persona of Peter Lowe, which has become my most ac- iconic your, your persona. Your spirit was kind of transferred. Is that how it's going on? Uh, yes, yeah. exactly. Oh, okay. Yes. See, I mean, I can... Before I can, you were born. All right. Yes. So... You know, I inspired I inspired him. All right, answer the question. Fuck Mary Kill. <laughs> okay. Um okay. You know, I I was using that as that diversion to think about all of this. Um so if I had to fuck someone Give it to me straight. It would definitely be Alan. <gasps> Alan's the, the power bottom? You you, you want to get fucked by Alan? Alan's definitely I can power be top bottom. or bottom, baby. I want him to be bottom. Oh, he seems like <laughs> he's got a tight butthole. I've got I gotta admit. I've got a I've got a big butt, and it's... I, uh, it's a very big ass. <laughs> but Chase is so large that his would seem, like, cavernous. It's just, like, it's just such a big butthole. He's just such a big man that he's got to have a big butthole. Well, see, like, that's going on to my opposite. next point. That's going on to the next point. That's why I want to marry Chase. <laughs> there you go. That's a butthole you can make a home in. <laughs> exactly. I so you're just... going to get killed, Dan. I will just tear get killed. It. as long as well, he doesn't well, 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 see his own wait, reflection wait, wait, wait. in the computer but, screen. But, but now what I'm saying is, but I'm getting killed by a vampire. Do I get to turn into one? It depends on how much of my actual power I want to embed. Do you, so if I don't want to embed any of my power to you, you're kind of gonna fucking die. Okay? Oh man, because I'm just saying I would love to do like a swingers thing with you and like run train on chase with you like you know since you're gonna be married to him and everything swingers the movie if, if you I really wanna, don't yeah. like the way this is panning out yeah. for chase okay so wanna, wait a minute so if wait you want to make me a vampire we could run train on chase for just eternity and also uh, this we can do a lot more seasons of the show if you guys you know <laughs> kind of just get dan on board that sounds pretty good so how about this dan we cu- i'll cut a deal with you right now <laughs> how about I transfer 1% of my vampiric powers, which guarantees you six months of being a vampire. Okay. But you have to suffer the worst, most painful death possible. Ooh. He only gets but, six months of being and, a vampire? And, and, That's and, not part of it is immortal. It's 1%. You get to run the train with me on Chase. I don't but like the way this is shaking months, out. But only for six months? Every waking moment that you want. Of that six months. I like how, uh, well, like... But that's only be- six months. Every waking moment would still only count up to six months. No, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the choice to do it for every waking moment. But other than that, you can be a vampire. You get to be a fucking vampire. I'm happy I was the <laughs> fuck part, and I don't but really... But only I'm for really six months. That. I could be a human for longer no, than that. you're going to be a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get fucked and get to be a vampire. Well, that's part of the sensual... So I, I get run trained on by a bunch of vampires, and I don't get to do it. I just <laughs> have to just take the- it. Life. You're just my I vampire slave. It. You're just my vampire slave. This is the life of a wife. Well, I don't like the way this shaked out for Chase, so... <laughs> well, I feel like you were the most questioning of me, and I didn't really appreciate that, so you're the one that's going to get fucked <laughs> way harder than the actual fuck, okay? I just challenged you to be honest. I've been honest the entire time. I don't lie. And because of that, I get punished, and I, I accept my punishment. We call the punishment the tortures of the damned. I don't think I like that. You know what? Chase is my friend, okay? And I don't like you coming in here. We brought you on this show. Dan conjured you nicely, you know? And uh, I think I'm going to take this fucking one stick. Fuck you, man! What? (laughs) What? What is happening to me? Fuck you, demon! Back to hell. Casted him. Casted that motherfucker. Google Chromecasted that asshole back to hell. Good job, guys. I think it's gonna be a good start of season two. (laughs) And that's the end of Peter Lowe. And that's the end of Coming of Age. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> well, this episode. <laughs> the first episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, Austin, uh, you weren't saying much during that whole time. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. I had to take a shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. You missed a really great interview. Um, we almost all died. Um, it was great. We've, we vanquished a demon back to hell. I'm sure he'll be back. 
I, you know, yeah. he may I be. got this close to running a train on Chase. <laughs> what this the close. Fuck, man? Where the fuck yeah. is I at for all that? God damn it. It's Taking too shit. much. It's too much. Shit. I yeah. mean, what, which demon did you summon? Um, just listen to the episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, You'll have to treat. listen to the episode <laughs> to find out. It's unrelated. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Coming of Age. We love you. We miss you already. But fuck you. That's, That's all, fuckers. fuckers.